The Washington Commanders have traded for kicker Cade York from the Cleveland Browns this morning. So today we're going to be breaking down the move, what this means for the Washington Commanders, and whether or not they just found their new franchise kicker. But before we break it down today on the show, make sure you guys click that subscribe button because it's stories like this is why you subscribe to the Commanders Report. Yes, we have daily videos breaking down the latest news and rumors on this football team, but also we have breaking news coverage every time they make a trade, every time they make a signing, every time that GM Adam Peters makes a big move for this football team. We are going to be giving you guys a video for free here on the channel for you guys to enjoy. So make sure you click that subscribe button right now to never miss a big move that the Washington Commanders make. Okay, so let's talk about this trade here. And I think it's a pretty darn good one for the Washington Commanders. I mean, knowing that, you know, ever since the Brandon McManus situation happened here in Washington and, you know, they pretty much were forced to release him, um, you know, they brought in Ramiz Ahmed. He wasn't working out. They brought in Riley Patterson. He hasn't necessarily been working out. So you trade a conditional seventh round pick, uh, which is pretty much nothing for a guy in Cade York who, uh, you know, coming out, you know, and coming into the league was very highly touted. Now the field goal percentage isn't exactly what you want to see from somebody with as big of a leg as Cade York has. His long is 58, but just a 75% field goal percentage, which is why Dustin Hopkins is now the kicker in Cleveland. But compared to Ramiz Ahmed and compared to Riley Patterson, I think Cade York has a much bigger leg. I think he's more of a professional kicker. And I do think moving forward, he's going to be somebody that can absolutely be a legitimate NFL starting kicker for this Washington Commanders football team. And that is something um, that we just haven't really uh, had here throughout the offseason process for the Washington Commanders. I've discussed on the show that at some point you're going to probably have to go ahead and, uh, you know, make a trade for somebody. You know, you know I said uh, on Monday even, uh, you're probably going to be waiting for somebody to get cut on a team with two pretty decent kickers. I think Cade York was one of the top candidates uh, because the Cleveland Browns did have two pretty decent kickers on their roster, but it seems like after Riley Patterson really struggled in the week two of the preseason here, missing two field goals after missing one in the first week of the preseason as well. I think that uh, GM Adam Peters and head coach Dan Quinn pretty much said enough is enough. Let's go get our kicker right now. Let's trade a conditional seventh round pick to go out and get this kid Cade York. We'll be breaking down a little bit more his stats and, uh, and everything of that like here in just a moment, but make sure you get down there in the comment section right now and tell me, what is your one-word reaction to this move? I'm going to tell you guys my one-word reaction here after I tell you about today's sponsor at Game Time. Um, I mean, while I'm talking about Game Time, go down there in the comment section for today's pinned comment and give me your one-word reaction. Now, let's talk about our sponsor today at Game Time, which is the fastest and easiest way to buy tickets for the sports, music, comedy, and theater in your area. And guys, we all know, experiencing a sporting event, especially a football game, live is unlike anything you can get from watching the game on your couch. So if you love to say, I was there for all of your favorite teams' biggest moments, Game Time has a new feature called Game Time Picks that makes getting tickets to see your favorite teams play even easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you all the incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets on multiple different ticketing apps. Game Time is the only ticketing app that you need on your phone. And I just used Game Time Picks this past weekend to go watch the Texas Rangers play the Minnesota Twins at Globe Life Park in Arlington, Texas. And Game Time Picks got us the best possible deal on some really great seats to watch my Twins give up a 4 nothing lead. But whether my team wins or loses, guys, what I love about using the Game Time app is that you get the lowest price guarantee on any ticket to any event all in pricing so you don't get slapped with crazy fees at checkout i absolutely hate when ticketing apps do that and then also flash deals so you can get even cheaper tickets the closer you wait to the start of your event take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time today all you gotta do is download the game time app create an account and use code chat sports that's one word all caps chat sports it's right down there in the bottom right of your screen for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code CHATSPORTS for $20 off. So my one word here is that I think that the 
uh, the Washington Commanders have found their starting kicker. So my one word is starter, because I think if you make this trade, if you're giving up any draft capital, I don't care if it's a seventh round pick, if you're giving up any draft capital, they feel pretty good that Cade York is going to be their kicker for the 2024 season. And I'm guessing he's going to win the job over Riley Patterson. We haven't heard anything necessarily yet uh, about Riley Patterson getting cut, or he has been cut. Okay, so Riley Patterson has been cut. Um, and he, so he's gone. So this means that Cade York's going to be the kicker, right? So I do think that Cade York is a legit NFL kicker. He's got a very big leg. He was highly touted coming into the league with the Cleveland Browns. Like I said, the, the field goal percentage isn't exactly where Cleveland wanted it to be, which is why they brought in Dustin Hopkins, who has been a more reliable kicker throughout his career. But I think this was a much-needed move for Dan Quinn, Adam Peters, and the Washington Commanders. Riley Patterson and Ramiz Ahmed were just not getting the job done. They were not professional kickers. Um, and now Riley Patterson has been released by two separate NFL franchises in the last month. And Cade York is somebody um, that, you know, I think is pretty darn good. Okay, now is he the best kicker in the league? No, I think Brandon McMahon has definitely uh, put the commanders in a tough situation with his legal situation that arose this offseason. So the commanders have definitely had to be smart with how they handled this position. They tried out a guy in the UFL, that was Ramiz Ahmed. They tried out Riley Patterson, who was kind of a retread in the NFL. Now they're going out and getting somebody in Cade York, who had, brings some youth to the table. He's got a very big leg, which is something uh, that gives him a lot of potential heading into the year. He's been a starting kicker in the National Football League before, so he has that experience as well. So listen, I think it is absolutely worth giving up a seventh round pick, a conditional one at that um, for this for this player here that I, I think is going to play a pretty big role with the Washington Commanders this year. But let me know what you guys think down there in the comments section. Grade this trade. Give me an A, a B, a C, a D, or an F. Let me know down there in the comments section what you guys think about this trade. And for what it is and for what the move is, right, and you're getting a starting kicker for a conditional seventh round pick. For me, I'm going to give this uh, trade an A because I think you're getting a starting level kicker in Cade York. That could be your kicker, you know, if he's if he's good this year, guys. Cade York is still young enough where he could potentially be your starting kicker for a very long time. So it seems like for the first time this offseason, uh, this commander's kicking position is in a good spot or at least relatively good spot since the Brandon McManus situation uh, happened earlier this offseason. So for what it's worth, I'll give it an A here. I think Cade York's a good player and I'm excited to see what he looks like in the burgundy and gold. Make sure you guys click that subscribe button if you haven't already. I really do appreciate all of your guys' support. We are going live on Commanders Report Live later today, 5 p.m. Eastern uh, Eastern time. Uh, so if you want to join us for our live show, we're going to be talking a little bit more about this situation, why I think Gate York is going to be pretty darn good for this football team. Plus, we've got this week's preview for Sunday night's matchup against the New England Patriots, final week of the preseason. You're not going to want to miss any of that, so make sure you click that subscribe button and join us at 5 p.m. Eastern.